Now, this is a gem right here. A little gem for you. Five arounds. So this video is not only good for somebody just starting out, but it's a good reminder for all of us. There may be some ways on here to market your business that you never even thought about. This is a reminder for myself as well, so I can look back at this video later on and kind of get some ideas when I'm in a rut. You should think about splitting your business 50-50. 50 percent residential 50 percent commercial i'm going to go over things that'll help you in each category most of them you can use in both um but there's some stuff in the commercial that i'll go over that i found that are pretty specific to commercial that have worked for me the first thing is obviously if you're just starting out do some work for your friends and family you know what i mean do it for free for the before and after pictures um just to get yourself out there. I had to do the same thing when I first started. Go out, do a couple of my cousin's houses, take the before and after pictures, and just get started from there. That way you have some kind of proof of your work to show what kind of work you do. Which leads me to my next thing, word of mouth, which is the absolute best form of marketing ever. And it's free. Door hangers. Man, I put a bunch of these out when I first started. A bunch. A whole bunch. And what I've found is, let's say you put out 100 of them, you might get two jobs. It's a lot of footwork, man, but it does work and it gets you started. Good old yard signs or bandit signs. They're cheapish, you know what I mean? I don't remember. I think they're like two something a piece. Um, but they're a good return on investment. Are they tacky? Yes, a little bit. But do they work? Yeah, you know what I mean? You put out 100 you might get one call or you put out 100, you might get 50 calls. It really depends, like the weather. Obviously, you need to put them in a high traffic area. I've had a bunch of different ones. Um, this is one of them right here. It's kind of like a custom one. It's got a lot, almost too much. This one here. Hold on, I have another one somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. All right, I don't know where it went, but all it said was pressure washing and then my number, which honestly seemed to perform a little better than those just because it's bigger text and it's specific. You can do it with, you know, just pressure washing or just house washing or just gutter cleaning, stuff like that. That's specific. I think that's what I'm going to try next is order a bunch of them that are specific to categories. And just have my logo like little bitty on the right hand corner and my phone number i forgot to mention i give these to all my customers but also when i would put out the door hangers i would order some pins and put them on there as well and people really seem to like that just a little extra thing that you can do a little additive to it kind of sets you apart from other companies that are just out there throwing out door hangers and stuff like that get you a good business card Give them out to everyone. I don't care if you're at the grocery store and you see somebody, just be like, hey, I mean, if you're if you really want work, you need work, be like, hey, I do pressure washing. Here's my business card in case you ever need me. You'd be like, if if you find somebody that's interested, you could be like, hey, do you mind if I give you a quote? Here's my card. Kind of sets the tone, it's not as pushy. Facebook. Oh, Facebook, man. You got your personal Facebook. Push it. Push it on your personal Facebook. You know, obviously, you know your audience because it's your friends and family. So you got to push that all day. You never know when somebody be scrolling through and be like, oh, I didn't know he or she did that. Let me get in touch with them. Um, I'm guilty of not using my personal Facebook as much as I should, but it does work. When I first started, I was pushing it all the time, but I have been slacking on that. Facebook groups, your little local groups with the neighborhoods and stuff like that. Push it into that. Um, even the buy, sell, trade ones. All of them. You never know when it's going to work. I did that again when I first started. I was putting it in those groups. And I did get a couple jobs off of those groups as well. And then Facebook ads. Ugh. Dude, I've spent a lot of money on Facebook ads. Have I got a return on my investment? Yeah. Do I feel like it's too much money? Yeah. Do I get a lot of do not contact me again and all this stuff from um, the elderly, we'll say. Um, 
a lot of bogus messages or I accidentally clicked on it. But it does work. It takes a lot of research to get it done right. There really is a lot that goes into it. But Facebook ads do work. But you will have to spend a lot of money and do a lot of testing to get it right. Google ads. That's a whole different ball game, man. I can't speak on it because I know nothing about it. But I know a lot of people that have had success with it. Google My Business. Now, this should be like number one. I do know about this. Everything within Google is surrounded. Everything in Google is pointing towards your Google My Business. You know what I mean? Reviews, your services, all that stuff is listed on your Google My Business. It is very important that you get one set up if you do not have one set up. Um, it connects to absolutely everything on the internet. Once you get that set up, you start doing jobs. Try to get reviews from everyone. God, it's like pulling teeth, but you got to keep trying because those reviews do help you rank higher on the search. Let's say you're pressure washing Spartanburg, South Carolina then you know the better reviews the more reviews you have the more you'll scale up and i think it's called the five pack don't judge me not sure don't know the name i think it's the five pack anyway that's the, the the more reviews and the more complete your profile is um the higher up you'll move under the search term flyers like the looks like a paper paper document flyers i don't have any put them on the restaurant counter you know ask the restaurant if it's okay if you put it on the Door window. There's all kinds of places you can throw them. Don't throw them. You know what I mean? That's another thing is people have these things they wrap in the rocks and they throw in the driveway. I don't recommend that. Um, but just try to put them everywhere you can. And if you've been doing this a while, hopefully you've keeping track somehow, if you don't have a CRM, of everyone you've done a job for with their contact information. Call those customers. Call them. You know what I mean? Every year, at around the same time, let's say the same month, let's say I serviced someone in November of last year. Well, last month I called them and said, hey, how's everything looking? Just want to check in. Most customers like to keep on schedule yearly. Just want to check in, see how things are going, see how things are looking. And you know what I mean? Some people will say, well, we'll wait till spring, yada, yada, yada. But it's always good to keep your name in their head. If you don't got a website, get a website and invest in somebody that knows what they're doing, especially with SEO, which is search engine optimization. That again helps you rank higher on Google. Everyone uses Google to search for services, pressure washing near me, soft washing near me. I use 180 sites. I'll put the, my code in the description below. If you use it, you will get $100 off your first order, but they have done really well for me. At first I was using Wix and doing it myself. God. It is not easy. I learned a lot about it, but it took a lot of my time. And running a business, you need that time. Shirts, man. Get you some shirts. You wear them everywhere. And, unless you don't, you know what I mean? Unless you walk around shirtless all the time, which I doubt you do. I started out, I just had the white t-shirt with the logo and the number on the back. Those are cheaper. I have gotten numbers off of those. I mean numbers. I have gotten jobs off of them. It's definitely worth the investment. And, you know, it took me a while to get these types of subliminated shirts. But all my customers love them. When you go out somewhere, it stands out. You know what I mean? Now, this is a gem right here. A little gem for you. Five arounds. I didn't start implementing this until this year. Well, no, last year. What five around is. Here, let me show you. What it says is, you know, you just went to a customer's house. You washed it, right? Well, the five houses surrounding, you know, the one here beside, one here on the other side, two on this side, and the one straight uh, across, right? You put these on every single one of their doors, and it just says, we just washed your house. Here's a complimentary quote, and before you go out there, you look online and pre-quote all this stuff. They work. They're amazing. Great idea. Postcards and EDDM, which is every door direct mail. Dude, it seems a bit expensive for me, 
and it's not a really high return rate. You have to put out volume and consistency. Um, to me, I haven't spent any marketing dollars there, but I do kind of create my own. And then at Christmas, this is also another gem for you. Christmas, I make my own. I put this on Canva, design it on my own. Just Merry Christmas. Look at that. Look what I did in my logo. I can be artistic sometimes. These are great. Keep your keep your name and customers' heads. I mail these out to all of my customers I've ever serviced. All right, commercial side. A lot of that stuff I just talked about, you can implement on the commercial side as well. Um, but the first thing is pick up the phone. You know what I mean? Let's use heavy equipment, for example. I find a great, uh, I'm driving down the road. I see a grading company. If you have time, which, you know, it's never about if you have time, it's whether or not you make the time, call them. Be like, hey, man, I wash heavy equipment. Just want to see what y'all do currently for washing your equipment. Do you mind if I give you a quote? Email. It's time consuming, but it works. That's the way I've gotten a lot of my commercial work. Forget the name of the software, but it implements into Google Sheets, and you can compile a sheet of email list, right? And then you can schedule it to blast out to all those companies at once. And then you'll have like a draft email of like, hey, this is Chad with Cook Pressure Washing, and then email and say, uh, I wash heavy equipment. Just want to see what you guys currently do. Um, see who you use. Do you mind if I give you a quote? Same thing with restaurants. You know what I mean? Usually you'll find the email for the restaurant on the website. Compile that list or email them one by one and just be like, hey, I'm local to the area. I came out and ate at your restaurant. If you did, you went and looked and you obviously know it's dirty. And I just wanted to see if you mind if I gave you a quote to clean up your restaurant for you. Another one is just walk in the place. It might be a little hard now because of COVID and people having the doors locked. And, you know, it's a lot different from when I was in sales back in the day. You can't just open the door and be like, hey, how are you? Sometimes you got to get a code and you got to go through all this. Yes, you'll have to go through the gatekeeper. But if anything, you'll get the contact information, the right contact information for the decision maker or who you need to be talking to. And if you're going into restaurants, don't go in when they're busy, man. You'll just annoy you. Network. You know, your local chamber, they have events all the time. They should. Um, go to those events. Wear your shirts. Get out there. Just to put your name out there. Build your brand that way. There might be some general manager or plant manager there that sees your shirt and is like, oh, dude, we need you. And you get a job that way. LinkedIn. The Facebook of the professional world. If you don't have one, get one. You can find all types of contact information for owners, decision makers, and all that good stuff on LinkedIn. Get you a LinkedIn profile set up with all your information, make it look professional, and start DMing people. There you go. I made a list, just like 21 things that, um, 21 ideas I came up with. I'll look back at this video myself later on. It's just when I'm in a rut or something, I'm slow, I'm gonna take a look back. That way I can kind of refresh my memory. If there's something I didn't cover on this list and you know that would be helpful for me or anybody else, comment below and let me know.